MIT professor Seth Lloyd admits that we live in a virtual reality simulation. Check it out. Before we get too far into it, let's just take a look at Seth Lloyd's bio, uh, demonstrating that he is not a fly-by-night professor, and he's been doing this for a while. Quite a few honors, awards, and distinctions. Been at MIT for a long time, at least since 1997. 200 scientific publications, author of a popular book, Programming the Universe. So, just kind of want to show that this guy is a reputable source within the educational establishment. In his 2013 paper titled The Universe as Quantum Computer, Seth Lloyd says, I will show that the universe can be regarded as a giant quantum computer. In a 2016 BBC.com article titled We Might Live in a Computer Program, But It May Not Matter, Seth Lloyd can be quoted as saying, the universe can be regarded as a giant quantum computer if one looks at the guts of the universe the structure of matter at its smallest scale then those guts consist of nothing more than quantum bits undergoing local digital operations I encourage you to look into quantum computers for yourself but here are a few points demonstrating that quantum computers are the future and are far beyond any computing capabilities that we currently have. IBM, one of the largest technology companies in the world, describes how quantum computers are essentially the future. Here they talk about how the computers we know, um, classical computers, are incapable of solving complex problems. Even the caffeine molecule in a cup of coffee it says that tiny molecule is so complex that no classic computer exists or could be built that would be capable of modeling caffeine and fully understanding its detailed structure and properties. This is the type of challenge quantum has the potential to tackle. And finally, it discusses how this leap forward in computing could lead to the discovery of new pharmaceutical drugs, completely secure cloud computing system, unlock new facets of artificial intelligence, or develop new materials science to transform industries. While IBM has a nice glossy website describing quantum computing, someone who works in the field describes the actual state of things as they currently stand. These sort of room-sized computers are sort of where we're at. Um, the way in which these computers have been constructed is using sort of off-the-shelf components that have not been specially made for the construction of that machine in general. Uh, so you find generally with these quantum computers, you find big racks of analog electronics, these electronics that, that have existed for other applications. Um, and so it's definitely not at a point where we've we've sort of custom fabricated the entirety of the machine. I'm not just talking about the quantum chip itself, but the thing that the quantum chip is housed in, the electronics that go with the quantum chip, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we're only just starting, uh, we just in general, uh, as a, in the field of quantum computation, are only just starting to make like customized electronics and the like for these systems. And finally, let's let the man himself, Seth Lloyd, describe the world as a quantum computer as he sees it. Yeah, well, so I've argued that the universe is effectively a quantum computer. 
in fact, not even effectively actually as a quantum computer. Um, and actually, you know, this is something, in some sense, it shouldn't be controversial because, um, first of all, we know that the laws of physics support computation. We know this, we don't have to prove it because I actually possess a computer, right? <laughs> and then we actually also know that the laws of physics support quantum computation, so computation at the most microscopic level performed by elementary particles. And again, I don't have to prove it because I own a quantum computer, right? <laughs> and here at IQC, you have vast laboratory space chock full of quantum computers. So, um, you know, the fact that the universe at bottom is, uh, is processing information, computing in a uniquely quantum mechanical way is in some sense uncontroversial. Though, when I make this argument, it always seems to cause controversy, so I don't know why this is so. But I'll chime in for Mr. Lloyd on this one, because the reason why people have such a hard time accepting this is because there is only one implication behind it, and that is that we live inside a virtual reality, uh, a simulation, if you will. Um, if things are being computed around us, there is no other option. And that's what we're facing here, and that's why people have a very difficult time accepting that. Yeah, so, so in fact, when we're building quantum computers, it's not like we're starting from scratch and saying, oh, we have these darn quanta and they, they're not computing, they can't do anything, let's make them compute. Um, that's, you don't, that's not the way it works. It's more that the universe itself is already processing information at this microscopic level all the time. And when we build a quantum computer, we're just kind of coming in and hijacking the ongoing computation to make it compute something that we would like it to compute rather than what it would normally be computing. So yes, so I mean, I, I think that, you know, if, if you like to, to think of yourself when you're building a quantum computer as simply, you know, participating in the larger computation in a productive way, I think that's a sort of nicer way to think than saying, we're going to force the universe to compute at a microscopic level. You know, we're participating in the, in the universal computation rather than, than, than forcing the universe to compute. And there you have it. It's clear we're living within a virtual reality simulation. Tom Campbell has been documenting this for many years and is gaining some traction. If you're not aware of his work, highly recommend checking out his books, My Big Toe, Volumes 1, 2, and 3, and checking out his YouTube channel. Tons and tons of content there. Um, after delving deep into his research, I wrote Simulation Secrets, which compiled that information, proofed it out, and in my opinion clearly shows that we're within a virtual reality simulation and it's a great thing so thank you for watching uh, appreciate everything take care